Hallo, hallo, Mike Test. So yes, that is how we use Doji candlesticks pattern correctly. We have a CAGR of 46.65% with a profit factor of 2.18 and the maximum drawdown of only 6.17%. That's why I say that the Doji era is not gone yet. Hello financial programmers, I'm Ritwik Dashura and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. If you're here to learn how to use Doji candlesticks pattern correctly, then you're at the right place. In this video, I will be using this platform, which is Tradomate.one. Guys, this is my startup. I started up this company with Yashu and Satyam and we'll be using its uh, different types of functionalities to make a great trading strategy using Doji pattern. This entire playlist is dedicated to Tradomate platform only. I have created multiple videos on different types of strategies like RSI divergence, pullback strategy, momentum strategy, EMA plus Doji plus ADX, MACD, EMA crossover, inside bar strategy and yes, you're wrong about the Bollinger Bands. In this video, I'm planning to use Bollinger Bands with Doji to check if we are able to get a great CAGR. But before starting to code, guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel, on this channel, I turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers. Here I upload videos related to making trading bots, implementation of AI in finance, using some highly valuable finance APIs, making some great trading strategies like this one, etc., etc. So if there's something that is of your interest, then click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are about to come on this YouTube channel. And I bet you that this one free click is going to increase your skill sets significantly. A quick disclaimer guys, through this video, neither me nor Tradomate.one is giving any investment or trading recommendation. This video is solely made to teach you guys how to use Tradomate.one platform. Please do detailed research and due diligence before putting your real money into any trading strategy, including this one. Perfect guys, so uh, this is the platform which is Tradomate.one. The link is in the description section. As it mentions, it is an AI powered intelligence platform which is made to enhance traders effectiveness. You can make a free account by clicking on this button I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already done it so yes post sign up you will see this particular screen which is the dashboard I have created many trading bots in the past so yeah all of my trading bots are here on the left hand side you can see a ribbon with different buttons the second one is of builder which which is where we'll be building our trading strategy the third one is of the documentation the detailed documentation about how to use this particular platform how to make different types of trading strategies etc etc so yes last but not least discuss community uh, we call it Tradomate army on this community we have many traders doing detailed discussion about their trading strategies collaborating with other traders and with Tradomate team to build something great it's free of cost so yes please check it out perfect so let's start building our trading strategy i'll click on this button which is create a new bot it will ask me to proceed with the python bot creator right now we just have the python bot creator eventually we'll have the rule based logic creator and the gen ai integration as well so yes please stay tuned to it when i click to proceed it asks me to select one of the sample strategies Strategies. Guys, these strategies are no way any recommendation or advice from the platform. So I'll select the first one, which is EMA crossover strategy and click on proceed. Which stock to select? I'll go with the first one, which is HDFC Bank. Perfect, guys. So on the top, you can see the candlesticks chart of HDFC Bank. Uh, this is the ticker. Exchange is NAC. Currency is Indian Rupee. This is where you select your candlesticks interval. For example, if I select say, 30 minutes, it will refresh to make a candlesticks of 30 minutes candles. Perfect. So um, on the bottom, you can see this code of the EMA crossover strategy. This is the place where, where we'll be changing this code to build our own trading strategy. Quickly explaining this code, we have exposed our own library called Tradomate on the platform. All the functions are available in this library, which will be used uh, to create any trading strategies on the platform. The first function is to introduce our inputs, things like initial capital, length, quantity, stop loss, take profit, etc. The second function, which is my strategy, is used to build our trading strategy. In the end, I'm plotting different things. In this case, EMA. So let's do one thing. I will delete this section, which is where uh, it is taking some long and short positions. Let me just uh, save and run and see what how does the EMA crossover line looks on the platform. Perfect, on the right hand side, we can see zero for all the metrics because we are not play, uh, taking any trades. On the graph, you can see EMA crossover is now plotted with the candlesticks that we have. So let's start building our trading strategy using Doji. I'll do one thing, I'll delete the stop and uh, stop loss and take profit as of now, if we require it, maybe like we'll introduce later. Initial capital is 50,000 length, or I would say period is equal to 
say 20 and quantity is one i just write qty which is quantity is one i have introduced one more input which is config dot tolerance which is 0.005 which is 0.05%. Basically, in order to calculate the doji, I need to have a tolerance level um, to consider any particular candle as a doji candle, right? But before jumping into that, let, let us first understand what is doji candle. If you write it on Google, you can clearly see it. Um, let's go to image. Any candle where the open and close price are very close to each other. So it looks like a plus sign on the candlesticks. That candle is called a doji candle. If you go to the chart, we can find some of the can, uh, candles here. For example, this one is a doji candle. It's It looks like a plus sign because there is no body in this particular candle. So we just need to identify it in order to um, consider it. We will have to have a tolerance level. Perfect. So um, I will change this to this one because now uh, the input name is different. Let us uh, define the doji candle, right? So doji is equal to, so yes, I have made this condition, which is basically what I'm doing here is I'm considering the last open of which is the uh, open price of the last candle. It should be greater than the last close, but it should be less than the last close multiplied by one multiplied by the tolerance level, right? You're understanding. So the open price is greater than the close price but it should be less than the close price minor uh, multiplied by one plus the tolerance level so basically I'm, I'm just defining a very small range where this open and close price will be or the same thing which is open price is less than close but the open price should be greater than close multiplied by one minus the tolerance level that's how we are actually defining the small range of body uh, to consider it for defining the doji pattern i'll uh, just change the variable to is doji if it is true then that particular candle is doji if it is false then it is not a doji candle simple let's do one thing i think uh, the best way to do here is to plot it first so tm.plot is doji title is doji comma color is say red and overlay is equal to false i want overlay is equal to I, I provided overlay is equal to false because I want uh, it to be a separate chart and not the chart which is on the candlesticks chart itself. I don't want to overlap it. Perfect. So on the chart, you can see we have a different plot of doji, which is uh, a separate chart. You can see all the places where we have the doji candles, right? All the spikes where we have the doji, uh, doji candles. If I just zoom it a bit, follow this, uh, like all the spikes, for example, this one, you can see a doji candle here. Let's just zoom it more. You can clearly see a doji candle over here. Cool. Let me just make it, resize it again like this one. Perfect. So now I'll do one more thing because I mentioned that I will be combining it with uh, Bollinger Bands. Let me introduce Bollinger Bands as well. Over here, I'll just write upper band, comma, middle band, comma, lower band is equal to tm dot ta dot b bands. Inside the, uh, this, the source is data dot close comma time period is this one which is config dot period comma standard deviation so we will have to provide one more input here which is config dot bollinger band standard deviation is equal to say 2.5 um, standard deviation so i'll just copy this paste it here and yeah that's it um let's do one thing i will plot these as well the upper band middle band and lower band or actually just upper and lower band only cool tm dot plot upper band and then the title is upper band Let's do blue color this time for upper and lower band. I'll run it again. Let's see how does it look on the graph. The overlay is uh, equal to true by default, so I don't need to write it. Perfect. So on the graph, you can see the EMA crossover is here, upper band, lower band, and the doji candles. Now it's the time to write our trading strategy. So it's pretty simple. As I mentioned, uh, entry condition, I'll just write entry condition. If there's a doji candle is doji candle and price, which is data dot close, or I'll just write last close is greater than, or we, actually we can take the upper band first. So it's less than upper dot upper band dot I lock minus one. And I'll put this in a bracket. Let's just copy this and paste it again here. It should be greater than the lower bow band in that case i'll write one more condition which is if data dot last close is greater than ema dot i lock minus one then i'll take a buy position so what i'm doing is here is basically i'm checking three things the first thing is it should be a doji candle the second is it should be between the upper and lower bands and third thing is it, the last close price should be greater than the ema close uh, ema of the last candle this is a simple ema condition and in that case tm dot enter long position market quantity is config dot 
QTY comment is long. Similarly, if the condition is different, which is last close is less than this one, and in that case, tm dot enter short position config dot qty comma the comment is short. Let's save and run and let, 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 let us see what are the results. Perfect. So we have got the net profit of 0.67%. CAGR is 0.99%. The, num the this numbers looks small because uh, the quantity is just one and we, are uh, we have the initial capital of 50,000. So we'll have to increase it to a higher number, of course. So if we increase the quantity to say 30, let's see what are the results now. Save and run. Perfect. So yeah, we have a good number now, which is uh, the CAGR of 30% is already achieved. Uh, the maximum drawdown is 9.63%, which is pretty good. If we go to the next step, proceed to the next step, let me just click here. It will ask me for the in-depth backtesting. So basically guys, on uh, at tradeomate.one, we have something called three layered back testing. The first layer is something that we already saw. The second layer is this one where we uh, can actually dig deeper into the equity curve and the risk ratio analysis. You can just click on the view all button to see what all uh, different things like sharp ratio, beta, gamma ratio, etc, etc. You can check all the orders uh, individually by clicking on this particular button and you'll see what different types of orders are doing. The last but not the least, which is the scenario analysis, uh, it's the most loved feature uh, of TradeMate.1 is off now. So yes, thank you so much for loving this feature. So basically click on market trend and you'll see that it will split the entire segment into three different sections, bullish, bearish, and sideways market. And you'll see if the strategy is only working in any uh, particular market trend. I'm, I'm always very interested to see how is my trading strategy working in the sideways market because in most of the cases, it doesn't work real in the sideways market. So let's see what are the results. Okay, perfect. So we've got the results. Um, as I thought, the market is not, the strategy is not doing well in the sideways market, right? These are the three different lines. The green line is basically how it performed in the bullish time. The red line is uh, when how it performed in the bearish market and the yellow one is on the sideways market. You can click on this particular toggle to see what all different orders happen in different market times, right? Over here, you can click on this button called view all to see all these things separately for different market trends. I can see that in the sideways market, the win rate is only 20%. Profit factor is also less than 0.5. Although the number of trades are only 29, I would like to avoid these mini trades as well. Um, so maybe like I'll do something to reduce it a bit more and increase the CAGR as much as possible. <clears throat> so let's come back to our strategy. In order to solve this particular problem, what I'll do is basically rather than just providing the long and short positions, I'll also close them. This actually can increase the CAGR and make the other metrics better. So exit condition. If data dot last close is greater than upper band I lock minus one, basically our last close is going above the upper trend, upper band, then just close all the positions. TM dot close all positions and I'll just write close let's say due to upper band upper bb similarly if data dot last close is less than lower band dot i lock minus one then in that case same which is tm dot close all positions but in this case the comment is closed due to lower bollinger band and actually i'll actually do some more changes rather than last close i will change these things to uh, high and low to make it more strict right i think this would work really well. Uh, for example, this one would be last high rather than last close. This would be last low rather than last close. Similarly, this will be high. This will be last low and here as well, last low and this one as last high. So yes, that is how we use Doji candlesticks pattern correctly. We have a CAGR of 46.65% with a profit factor of 2.18 and the maximum drawdown of only 6.17%. That's why I say that the Doji era is not gone yet. For the people who couldn't follow this particular code, it's absolutely fine guys. The link of this code is in the description section. You can just copy and paste it and try experimenting it with different stocks. Also, I have made it for HDFC uh, bank stock. For any other stock, this may not work and you'll have to do some more changes to have a better result okay guys so if you liked even one thing about this video guys please click on the like button it really helps with the algorithm also click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos that are about to come on this particular youtube channel and it, it is completely worth it to subscribe my youtube channel my next videos will cover some other aspects of tradeomate.fun so yes please stay tuned to it last but not the least guys this discord community over here i highly insist you to check it out because there are many more people waiting for you to participate in the 
डिस्कशन थैंक यू सो मच गाइस फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड यू कैन क्लिक हियर टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ओवर देयर यू विल सी दिस एंटायर प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ ट्रेडो मेड डॉट वन ओवर देयर यू विल सी दिस वॉक थ्रू वीडियो ऑफ ट्रेडो मेड डॉट वन कीप लर्निंग कीप फाइनेंशियल प्रोग्रामिंग एंड आई सी यू वेरी वेरी सुन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड टिल देन पीस